Hey, Jacob it to you. <clears throat> How's it going, everyone? Today I'm going to be streaming uh, Genshin Impact. Uh, I got a sponsorship to try it out, and uh, I've been wanting to try it out for a long time. But today we're going to play it. Uh, if you want to play it, I have a link in my panel down below. You can click on it and download it, and it supports the stream. And I got to level 4 to start playing. Just made it to the town. And we're going to see if I can get the glider. This used to be a bustling street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near... I think we're gonna actually I can navigate, can't I? There we go. I gotta say the graphics are beautiful. One second there now. I have a promo code to everybody. It's a Genshin gift. to get uh, 50 promo gems and some heroes of it. Don't forget to uh, redeem that. So I've already unlocked. <clears throat> well, this is the main character. I picked him. You get to choose between two different characters. They're twins. I guess it's brother and sister. And then I just unlocked her on the way to the town. So she can put a doll down and taunt the enemies while you shoot them. Then we have the main hero. Windblade! You got a wind attack and he has a hurricane attack. And a sword. There's a, a lot of characters in this game that you can unlock and play. They all have uh, different ways of like moving around the world. And they also have different ways of like completing puzzles and they have different abilities and you can level them up differently and different elements. <laughs> um, it's on his characters. I like the style a lot. give you is Looks a wind sad. glider. Oh, yeah. Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you so you can experience it right away. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Oh. Alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. I think there's a new update just came out 4.4. They have uh, a new place called Fontaine. And what do I have to do here? You'll get it when you get to the third chapter in the Archon Quest. Okay, I, I want to see it. <laughs> I want to see all the in-game content. I love like dungeons and all that stuff.
the sky. Some dragons I was talking to earlier. Speaking of dragons, happy happy uh, New Year to all those Chinese. Power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally or a new storm? Storm Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself. Kaya, traveler, you've come at the right time. We must. Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Yeah, Amber. Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Is that all we know of them? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? Can you give me some powers? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. <laughs> First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. Ooh. Collect unique wind gliders. Yeah, let's put something on you. And I think I can. I've heard that if you give tavern owners a considerable tip, they'll be willing to give some information on the down low. Hmm. Yeah. My original outfit. 
I'm gonna get my gliders. This is the one I unlocked. Switch. Cool. Space in mid air to glide. This seems to be the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Uh, Let's head in. Wow, the game is so beautiful in 2K. Teen, what's the hurry? I thought we agreed to meet them here. There have been sightings of storm terror outside the city. Once we meet, we must... Relax. I'll lend a hand when the time comes. Jean, I've brought them. <laughs> and once it was over, I brought them straight here. Monstat welcomes you, Windborn Travelers. I am Jean, acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius. This is Lisa, our resident librarian. <laughs> oh, are you sweeties here to help us out? <laughs> You're both so adorable. Sadly, the timing is regrettable. Storm Terror has caused quite a ruckus in the region since its recent resurgence. And we're gonna get them as characters. Mondstadt's elemental sphere and ley lines are now akin to a yarn ball in the paws of a kitten. For a mage, it couldn't get much worse. My skin is one elemental particle away from a full-blown breakout. <sighs> if it weren't for this interference, the Knights of Favonius would have better ways to help you than just putting up missing person posters. We simply ask that you repose in Mondstadt while we help you seek out your sister. I should really help out as well. Paimon will help too. Good. In that case, we need a plan. With Storm Terror now directly attacking Mondstadt, we may have an opportunity to cut this problem off at the source. Lisa has revealed the sources of Storm Terror's power with her detection magic. Is that so? They're located in the abandoned Four Winds Temples. Storm Terror's ability to whip up these kinds of storms can be attributed to it drawing power from the temples. Our objective is to deal with three of the four temples. I trust everyone understands why we are only dealing with three. Paimon doesn't. <laughs> Knights of Favonius, time is against us. The storm is rampant. There is no point in maintaining a defensive position. All right, we need to take initiative and act before the situation escalates. Wish feature, oh yeah. I think that's how we summon new heroes. Shop unlocked. Let's start us and start the reflective. All right guys, are we doing a little a little wish marathon here. How many of these things do we have? Not sure. Beginner wish Noel. So ten set twenty percent off. First ten set will receive Noel. Okay. Character event. Every ten wishes is guaranteed to include at least one four star or higher. Guys, which one do I choose? That's for items, that's your weapons.
I think... Okay, so I can't even do this. Yeah. I'm going to do this one. And this one. Standard wish. Novice wishes. I guess we'll do this one because it guarantees Noel. New sword. Another sword. Another sword. Four. Oh, no. Magic. No. My name is Noel, mate of the Knights of Favonius. And it's. Oh, shit. I'm Sucrose, a researcher Ooh. of alchemy. We got Sucrose. I heard you've been to a lot of places. So I was wondering if you... <sighs> what am I saying? It's only our first time meeting, I shouldn't trouble you. But, if you're willing, I'd love to hear any stories you have about your adventures. I'd really like that. What's this? The bait club? Let's see, Noel. She's a maid who fights for the Knights of Favonis. She dreams of joining their ranks someday. Play more. Cool. We'll go through those later. Normal attack. Blade work made. Breastplate sweeping time. Cool. An alchemist filled with curiosity about all things. She researches bioalchemy. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Clustered vacuum. A stable ano aniomo hypostasis creation. 6308 gains. One additional charge. Forbidden creation. Let's see. Normal attack wind spirit creation. Performs up to four attacks using wind spirits, dealing animo damage. So she attacks four times. You charge it and she deals AoE damage. Kind of power of her wind spirits. She close plunges towards the ground from midair, damaging all opponents in her path. Use AoE on impact. Okay, that's cool. Creates a small wind spirit that pulls opponents and objects towards its location and launches opponents within its AoE and deals animo damage. So pulls everything in towards the location of this thing and then it launches them up and deals damage. Okay. Sucrose hurls an unstable concoction that creates a large wind spirit. While it persists, the large wind spirit will continuously pull in surrounding objects, opponents and objects, launching nearby opponents and deal animal damage. If the wind spirit comes in contact with hydro, pyro, cryo, or electric energy, it will deal additional elemental damage of that type. So this is like another one that pulls everything in and knocks it out. I guess it's bigger though. And Sucrose tr triggers a swirl reaction. All characters in the party with the matching element, excluding Sucrose, will have their elemental mastery increase by 50 for 8 seconds. So she buffs everybody. Same type as her. When and stable Anopa hypostasis creation or Isomo, I'm just going to call it 6308 or type 2, hits an opponent, increases all members, party members, excluding Sucrose's elemental resistance by an amount equal to 20% of Sucrose's elemental mastery. 
Sucrose crafts character and weapon enhancement materials. She has a 10 percent chance to obtain double the product. That sounds pretty good. I don't know what that means, but that sounds good. Let's see what she does again. Four consecutive strikes and a normal attack. Charge attack drains stamina over time to perform continuous spin attack against all enemies nearby. At the end of the sequence, performs a more powerful slash. Cool. Plunging attack. Flies through the air, comes down, does an AoE and impact. Cool. Stone. Okay, so her first talent, protective stone armor, deals geo damage to surrounding opponents and creating a shield. Shield's damage absorption scales based on her defense. The shield has the following properties. When Noel's normal and charge attacks hit a target, they have a certain chance to regenerate HP for all characters. Okay, that's crazy. This is 150% damage absorption efficiency against all elemental and physical damage. The amount of HP healed when regeneration is triggered scales based on Noel's defense. Noel is both a dutiful maid and a valiant knight. So the, the amount of HP healed when regeneration is triggered scales in her defense. Okay, everything scales with defense. Gathering the stronger of stone around, gathering the strength of stone around her weapon, Noel strikes the opponents surrounding her within a large AOE, dealing geo damage. Afterwards, Noel gains the following effects. So she gets larger AOE attack, converts attack damage to geo damage that cannot be overridden by other elemental infusion. Increases attack that scales based on her defense. Okay, that's pretty good. Noel's a party, but not on the field. This ability triggers automatically when your active character's HP falls below 30%. Creates a shield for the active character that lasts for 20%. Wow. That's for anybody in your party. So, it lasts for 20 seconds and absorbs damage equal to 400% of her defense. The shield has 150% damage absorption against all elements of physical damage. I'm glad I picked her. <laughs> Noelle has de will decrease the cooldown of breastplate by one second for every four normal attacks or charge attack hits she scores on opponents. One hit may be counted every one 0 0.1 second. So when a perfect cooking is achieved and a defense boosting dish, Noelle has 12 percent chance to obtain double the product. Oh, she can double defensive dishes. What is it that she doubles? That's her passive? Let's see. Actually, I got out of it. Character and weapon enhancement materials. Wow. Masterless Stardust. You just obtain rare resources from the sur surplus Stardust shop of destiny. Cool. And what's this though? Primo gems. So Entwined Fate, a fateful gem that connects dreams. It glimmers, can entwine fates and connect dreams, just as how it glimmers links just as how it glimmers links stars into the shapes of the heart's desires. Cool. I don't have any of this stuff. Okay. Genesis crystals. Character outfits. Ooh, they got like a... Uh, different outfits for different characters.
There has to be something here I can buy with this stuff. Fate. I can buy one or the other. Let's buy one of these. I mean, this is like an item. Okay, we don't have enough primo gems. we got here. This is the new update. Chen Yu Vale. It's a new system. New characters. New character event wishes. New equipment. New outfits. New main story quest. Permanently available. Look at these things. Thou Win Beast. Solitary Suani. Yeah. What else is here? 300 primo gems. New characters. This is everything we this is just more details. Yeah. Oh wait, there was something else back here. Event. So that's like the wish events, I think. Mail. Yeah, I claimed everything. Adventure bundle. Okay, so the quaints are these. And the entwined fates must be these. Yeah. Okay, got it. In the well, in the sucrose. Says here, um, using an elemental burst grants a 12% increase in attack and movement speed for 15 seconds. And energy recharge is 11%. So, this one 
Bane of Water and Ice. Increased damage against opponents afflicted by Hydro and Cryo by 12%. I think this one's way better for me right now because I don't have Hydro or Cryo. Uh, let's see who else is going to do it. Weapons. Switch. Crit rate. Slingshot. If a normal charge attack hits the target within 0 0.3 seconds of being fired, increases damage by 36%. Otherwise, decreases damage by 10%. Okay, that's pretty good. Recurve bow. Defeating an enemy restores 8% health. And increases your HP by 10%, increases your crit rate. I'm gonna have to go with the healing one. Let's see what she got here. So, when HP blow falls below 70%, increases crit charge attack damage by 30%, and charge attacks become harder to interrupt. Or, after using an elemental skill on hit, Normal and charged attacks deal additional damage equal to 6% of your attack and a small AoE. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Wait, does it even work? There we go. This worked. First. Worked, okay. Weapons. Rapids. Upon using Vaporize, Electro Charge, Frozen, Bloom, or a Hydro Infused Swirl Reaction, increases attack by 12%. So she has Swirl, don't she? Hydro Infused Swirl, hmm. Increases damage against opponents affected by Hydro or Electro. Elemental Mastery, Elemental Mastery. I'm going to go with this one because there's more Elemental Mastery. It seems easier to proc. Oh, God. They're all taken. Okay. Easy enough. Go ahead here and try new characters here. From now on, the adventures will probably get more and more dangerous. We should make sure we're prepared. We Apparently, if you, uh, if you ever run into trouble in this game, you can ask ask higher level players. They'll help you out. That's, that's cool. <laughs> good to have a good community in your game. Oh, we have check-in rewards. Maybe that's when you log into the game. <clears throat> but I think there's rewards you get when you every time you log in. So many days in a row, right? There's the blacksmith. There's the blacksmith. This up here. want me to do up here. Elemental Burst. Hydro. Pyro. Swirl. Collecting wood. Attacking weak points. Ah. So cool. Ooh, I don't know if I can do this. This is above. Parthian shot. Deploys a polyhedron that deals 
AoE animal damage to nearby allies, you also enter the Manifest Gale state. While in the Manifest Gale state, Pharaoh Zan, next fully charged shot, will consume the state and will become a hurricane arrow that contains high pressure currents. This arrow deals animal damage based on the damage of a fully charged aim shot from the normal power path. Para beyond shot. Wait, hey, she's crazy. Just tell me, voice over. Sure would be. Wind blade, Terra smack. Here, take the lightning. Here, scatter, propagate. Go, water. This voice actor sounds familiar. Disappear. Go with the wind. Quake. Thunderclap. Bellowing. Germinate. Spread. Yeah. White bomb. Is this? I'll keep a room. Let me look at this. Maybe. Uh, click on all just there's still all right let's put it here. oh god i feel <laughs> gene will be upset oh it's oh hey there's something if oh wow this i love this kind of weather morning can i get, it's getting late yeah, should don't i do that lady let's uh <laughs> we go to the temple oh no we go to blacksmith why? Over there. That's Take your weapon. pick. Or if you need something else, I can make it on request. Wow! He does bespoke weaponry? Bespoke? Of course! I sell weapons, make them to order, and do refinements. All in the job description for a blacksmith. All you need is the ore. Anywhere. Get the ore everywhere. <sighs> you look confused. Listen. I'll tell you where the nearest deposits are. Bring some back and I'll help you forge oh, yeah. what you need. Let's go. No Wait, need. Thanks. I have other things to do. He seems like a short-tempered guy. Was it something we said? Short-tempered. Make some preparations. Oh, okay. Let's do. Go find some ore. I'm gonna figure this out, guys. Don't worry. kinds of wood. It's pretty cool. The controls are like really nice too. This is it. One of the deserted temples of the Four Winds. These temples have been left to waste for years now. The people of Mondstadt almost never come here. There's a chance there's a monster nest or hillatrol camp inside. <sighs> Even Storm Terror has given up on its own temple. Apparently, this fountain place <clears throat> is available for everybody once you once you complete the third chapter of the Archon Quest. And it's an underwater world, and there's adorable creatures there. I wonder. Yes. I also find it hard. Huh? Wait, oh, sorry. I had to do the did you just quest. feel that? I'd like to the check it out here. for you guys. Something's off. Let's go in and take a look. Be careful. The dragon's power is disturbing this area. Oh yeah, we we'll do some combat. Let's go. Oh, 
Lord something. Falcon, that's what I thought it was. Oh, is this a dungeon? Let's go. Ready. Oh yeah, look at that team. Beautiful team. You can use that console to open the door. Yeah, see, this is why the characters are useful for getting around. Oh God, if I didn't have pyro, I wouldn't even be able to do this. Use pyro skills to ignite the combustible objects. Wow, I can see so far into the temple. Cool, it's like open world temple. Charge attack, okay. Foul. Never mind. Despairing every day. Cabbage. Nice. Boy. I'm gonna make a feast later. Wait. What's this cute dude? Let it rain. Let it rain. Hell yeah. Use elemental sight to see the elemental attributes of different objects. Each element has its own color. Green symbolizes dendro, which can be ignited by pyro. Onan's wooden shields are attributed to dendro, which can be ignited with pyro skills, rendering them defenseless. Wow. Click and hold the scroll wheel to activate elemental sight. Okay, it's so a middle mouse button. Should be able to blow them up.
Yeah, everything catches on fire here. Well. Can you get carrot? Potato. Not so hard. That's gotta burn, right? Ah. I'd say there's probably enough in there, maybe. That's good, maybe. It's Almost so high! There. Seems like there's something up there! But how do we get across? Fire. <gasps> Isn't this a pyro monument? If we hit it with a powerful pyro attack, we might trigger... Dragon's Breath! Is that where the power's coming from? Great, let's smash it! Smash it. Phew, I'm tired. Easy. But at least this way we've helped Jean out. In the past, we were at least able to That's defend fun, the city huh? and keep it safe. This, of course, is mostly thanks to Jean. But now with Storm Terror directly attacking the city itself, the winds change, so too should our tactics. It's what Lisa likes to say. Speaking of which, the four winds we were discussing earlier, if you want to learn more about our history, you can ask Lisa. I'm not saying I don't know our history. It's just... I mean, a librarian is supposed to be more knowledgeable than an outrider. Right? Ooh, big chest. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, we got some primo gems at that. Talk to Wagner the blacksmith. Did I even get any ores? You're gonna be swapping out to when you got your queue ready. <clears throat> like your main ability. Be okay. What do you want? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten about that. These are okay, I guess. Should be able to salvage something from them. Hmm. 
Well, I guess I'm getting an enhancement over. Oh, he's forging him right now. If you ever find ore in the future, ideally when I'm not busy. A blacksmith's work takes focus and con- When the craft is good, business is good. And if there's nothing else, I'll carry on with my work. He's certainly committed to his work. Paimon will give him that. His temper isn't great, but Thank your pick. You'll find us. Alec, makes you run faster. Like to serve. So I heard the end game, there's like no meta or power ranks. People can like play however they want and stuff. So I'm interested in seeing that. And then, uh, well, you can see how beautiful the game looks. And there's like all kinds of lore and. Hold on a sec. These guys are level 9. With the wind! Play like play whatever character you want, like as you're running around. Play whatever style you like. Pretty cool. like a rabbit with a long tail. I gotta follow this guy. That's close though.
I thought this was a waypoint. Getting with the mini map. I love mini maps. I'll race you there. I'm gonna try her up for a little bit. This close. That we do. Oh god. I'm level six, I'm level fighting level thirteens. I don't know, we can try it though. Hyperstasis emulation! 
<laughs> cool. Whoa. Okay, she's really good. Got a new waifu. You've arrived. Come closer. Can you smell that? <laughs> Something tell. must have happened in the temple. I imagine there will be slimes, hilly churls, and whatever's giving Storm Terror extra power. Oh, yes. It is going to be lively in there indeed. Is as bustling as it may be, no, I can't imagine it will be dangerous at all. It's a pity that the Temple of the Wolf has been disturbed by such an atrocity. Let's head in. No one makes offerings to the Four Winds anymore. Yet the old winds never vanish. We need to clear out the temples. For the Four Winds. One second here, guys. And we're back. Let me show you how the Knights of Favonius conquer our adversaries. Oh, you play in there. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, the end of the temple should be up there. So cross kills can freeze water. Hydro opponents or opponents that are wet. Utilize this elemental reaction to gain advantage. Wait, how do you know? Experience. The kind of experience you get after years of dealing with things like this for others. Traveler, unless I'm mistaken, you don't seem to have a vision. So how exactly is it that you're able to channel elemental energy? It was a very okay, strange so occurrence. Here, let's use the wind currents to fly up. Or of resurrection, okay. There's automatically actually. Blue stone in the center of the room is hydro amber. If you break it, will make it rain, making everything in the range wet. Yeah, I got freezing. Okay. Water! 
We can use this to put out fire. Good idea. That's some keen observation. We should get Jean to give you a title and make you a knight. Oh, so sorry. Put your rank six. Underwater strikes make dangerous. Make it too dangerous to swim through. Chaos cryo skill can freeze the surface of the water, creating a safe passage across. Speaking of, did you know? Storm Terror was once one of the four winds. Good, that's why I I'm not aware of the exact anymore. details. If you're interested, you can ask the acting Grand Master about it. Is that the thing that Storm Terror is using to gain its power? Seems probable. Let's deal with it. Bravo! What a performance! You are, to my surprise, a well-trained knight. The battles you just fought were sights to behold. <laughs> I see you already have the knightly virtue of modesty. The stories of your heroic deeds to save Mondstadt from destruction shall be known throughout the City of Freedom, well into the future. Please do visit me at our headquarters when you have the time. I also know a lovely tavern, if that's more your thing. Quite rewarding, no? We've seized another temple from Storm Terror's grasp! I can take care of the rest here. You go take care of other things while I'm at it. See you later then, bye-bye! There's no way Hilly Churls organize an ambush like this themselves. Not with their limited mental capacity. <laughs> Thus you were behind this. Oh shit. That's right. Fire. Oh, he's pretty cool. Knights of Aphonius, always so inefficient. Agree to disagree, but your involvement in this just made things a whole lot more interesting. I want to get him his character at the hell. Kaya, Knight of Favonius. Ooh. Please allow me to join you on your journey. Guarding you on... I configure my party. Alright, let's do a little check here and see what we gotta do. Oh shit, I was supposed to do that. Nice. Doctors. Oh, that's what you want to do. Okay. Uh, so no, there's something else I do. Yeah, cheats. And then party set up. place Noel for now. Actually, she heals the whole team. Ready when you are. Cool. I can't do this. Okay. 
You know you have to click on him. This is the Oh, that was up. I'm gonna level up my main character because I'm using him all the time. I probably shouldn't have done that. Now I can't get any experience. It's like white. <laughs> With the black in the middle. Let's train together. That's pretty cool. And then Cairo Vaporize. Vaporize itself does not inflict damage. However, the pyro and hydro attack that triggers vaporize deals increased damage. Cool. Melts, so pyro and cryo, wooden shields, cryo this mage. Serious Healy, that's the spirit I helped. Cool. Let's 
swap characters. as often. I like her. CC is really good. I imagine. Sneaky sis. <laughs> I don't know if I can make it up here. We're gonna try to. Oh, I got a big boost there. This is a travel point. This is the temple to warp. The next temple is down here. And away I go. Damage. 
HP. Okay. This one's really good. Yeah. Better cooking by looks of it. efficiency. Seems pretty good except for her. Let's, let's just try to use. the character. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's use that. Oh shit, I used all of them. <laughs> rough. Because uh, I use this thing. See, this one you gotta confirm. The other one you just do not confirm. That's why we do this thing, so you guys don't have to. Keep this close. Case and solid ice. Yeah, it's not right to go. Thank you. 
I'm gonna hit this thing. Oh, you're dead now. Keep this close. Yeah. Yeah. I have to get rid of this somehow. Break this. You're going to help me out too? Don't hesitate to come to me if you need anything. Good question. Basically, things other than that which require brawn. So, what is... Trying to get in, just... get into the groove. I guess I could give this a go. I wonder how I get my check in rewards. I knew it. There is a strong elemental energy coming from deep within this temple. Paimon, are you able to float across? Can't do much even if she does. Good point. We'd better start looking for a way to get up there then. Like if Paimon refers this wind to herself current, in the third person. Secrets are secret. <laughs> Leave it to me. <laughs> Sorry, I hit my mic. It with a bit of electro power. Stand back, sweeties. Hit. Get. Up. Hit. Oh yeah, she's really good. Yep. Get. Hit. 
Failed. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Blitz. Yes. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. When it comes to wet enemies, I've got them covered. Oh, another wind current. Let's ride it up from here. Closer. <laughs> Blitz. Hit. <laughs> Chain lightning can be set off between electrocharged opponents. The electrical discharge caused by friction is only a little less shocking than love at first sight. Uh, low tax chain, which is too one heavy. Hit. Oh, you want to know about this gem? You're kidding. You're seriously asking? This is a vision. It's used by the Chosen to draw on elemental powers. In terms of mysticism, I suppose you could call it a magical lightning rod. You've never seen the game vision? Really smooth, Just too. where exactly are you from? You know, are you a hilly like, troll with some here. level of reasonable intelligence? No, I doubt it. After all, FPS. hilly trolls aren't exactly known for their smarts. All the way. And you, you'd more or less qualify to be a magister's apprentice. Break it, and we can head home and relax. One of those consolidated wind things. Ooh, yeah. Let's head back to the statue of this. That's goodies. Dragon of the East, Lion of the South, Wolf of the North, Falcon of the West. They are the four winds of Mondstadt, affiliated with Barbados, the god of Animo. The Dragon of the East, Storm Terror, its real name is Devalin. Though most in Mondstadt seem to have forgotten that in all this Storm Terror business. So now you know why Devalin is only able to channel three of the four winds' power. Because it has been consuming itself from the beginning. Why would it because of hatred, nice? I presume. Hatred? Hatred for Mondstadt. Hatred drove it to become something more powerful than the wind itself. To become Storm Terror. But why would one of the four winds... Hate the city it was supposed to protect. Uh... As a child of Mondstadt, it's something that's really hard to say aloud. Here, take this. It's a very old story from more than a century ago. Well, you should come with me. Paimon will tell you about the rest later. Dragon Toe. Darling. Look at the town. <laughs> Don't worry, darling. I'll take very good care of you. So... Lisa. Oh, it's finally done. Well, 
Oh, all that lay flow and elemental line stuff Lisa was going on about should hopefully be back to normal. Want to go back and see how the knights are doing? Yes, sir. But if you got anything more interesting to do, Paimon can come too. By the way, we obtained another Animunculus in one of the Four Winds temples, right? Yep. We might come across more of them in the future, so don't forget to offer them to the statues. Oh yeah, I gotta do that. <laughs> Good call, Paimon. Act 2 for tomorrow. Here. Various ways to obtain adventure experience from raise your adventure rank. Whether it be completing various quests, looking for chests, completing investigations in your adventure book, or revitalizing the ley line of blossoms. You can obtain adventure experience from these activities and increase your adventure rank. More challenges and opportunities will also open up as open up to you as your adventure rank increases. There are various ways. Oh, there it is. You can obtain adventure experience from these activities and increase your adventure rank. More challenges and opportunities will also open up to you. Okay. Right then. World quests. Okay, it looks like the tutorial is over, guys. Okay. Extra charged water. I don't need lightning right there. Keep this close.
Is this an answer from this world? Oh, I didn't switch. We're gonna offer all, I guess. Hundred and seven salmon. the blessings of the seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animacula. <clears throat> did I actually, did I pray to this one already? Probably not, right? They can be fitted into the statue's eye. check it out. But animacula people with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Adventure reporter. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so keep offering animaculae and maybe you'll receive more blessings. can smell fisherman's toast! Mmm, the aroma is coming from Good Hunter! A thick slice of soft white toast, topped with a generous serving of onion slices lightly caramelized by the toasting. Yum, yum! Paimon's made up her mind! It's an emergency! We must order ourselves a generous serving of fisherman's toast from Good Hunter, pronto! It's on you, of course. So delicious! Hum, hum, hum. Mm, Good Hunter's Fisherman's Toast is the best! <laughs> this might surprise you, but it's actually a classic Mondstadt recipe that anyone can cook. You can try cooking it yourself if you have the ingredients. Can your cooking skills surpass that of Good Hunter's? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster! Don't you let me down! It's the menu. Now you can buy food here. Open now. Looks like it.
Ah, look, she makes everything bonus. Oh, not everything. nor do we give refunds. To the Adventurous Guild. There it is. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. Let's go with you've had your eye on him, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it too. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with him. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. Very nice. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks to becoming a member. Give me the benefits now. <laughs> New recruits these days certainly do not beat around the bush. Basically, the Adventurer's Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. That's for leveling up, that's for weapon experience. Got me good. Yes. Oh well, the lunch time. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. Well, I thank you. A new you member coming right aboard now? is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, you need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Uh. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Add Astra Abyssosk, adventurer. With effort, you shall reach the stars and conquer the abyss. Nice. 
F1 to end. Oh, excuse me. F1 to open your adventure book. Thousand experience. Hell yeah. Brilliant flower buds that spread out of something. Hero's wit is 20,000 hero experience. Artifact experience, 10,000. 10,000 weapon. For summoning. Speaking of wishing. We have a new idea. Attractive map. Oh, yeah, they had a map and stuff. This be a big game. Cuisine cooking challenge. Lantern rights gifts. Okay, so we're gonna go to the shop. And then we're going to go to the TARDIS purchase. Or get the blue ones. And we just think we just need one more. I just got a load of stuff. Come take a look. There will definitely this be chick, something um, that catches your eye. Maybe we can level up here. Jean will be upset if she catches us lazing around. Here. Oh my goodness. He's back there. I think I'm gonna level her up. Hmm. 
figure it out. Something else. Welcome to the Knights of Fabonis. How may I help you? Where is this? This is the main hall on the ground floor of the Knights of Fabonis headquarters. The door is locked. Ah, uh, that room is not open to outsiders. Well, if it doesn't involve some internal secret of the Knights of Fabonis, I'll explain it automatically. Alice's room has more or less become Akilah's private property. Every time she's locked in there, you can hear some crackling noises. It's like she's researching new explosives in there. I'm sure that she won't ignite any of her bombs in here, but if she ever slips up, this worries me. This is bad. Such a hassle. What am I going to do? Okay. Oh, thank the thousand winds. Your arrival must be the grace of the gods. If I may ask, envoy sent by the Animo God to save this mere mortal, could you spare a moment? Ew, cut it out. I cannot let my peers hear about this. I cannot seek help from anyone else but you. Please, let us move to somewhere more fit for such conversations. Let's talk in the courtyard just outside headquarters. Come with me. What's with the sneakiness? Lore, guys. 
explore everywhere. Got lure here, lure here, over here. library Treasure yeah I got all the lore premises and refrain from making a racket library rules seventh edition here are several editions of library rules one of them is particularly useful all necessary rules are banned in this edition. All the users of the library should obey the following rules. Please keep quiet in the library. Please do not damage the books. Please remember to return your books on time. I believe everyone else had a deal with violations so it will not be repeated here. We hope everyone can abide by the above rules and make sure good use of the library. Great. Good guys. I'm never gonna return these books. My lore. The <laughs> Ika Goose Shamuise. Come again? Oh, sorry, I was off on my own world. That was Hill Cherlian. Or oh, hello there, have you eaten? Why does it sound hostile? Are you questioning an academic's credentials? Well, I suppose it's not that unusual. Literature in linguistics is severely underdeveloped as an academic discipline, so I still have a lot of questions regarding the exact meaning of these certain words. The biggest gap in literature in linguistics is field work. I had the chance to communicate face to face with the hill hill churro, I would shed light on so many burning questions. It's just just what I I just it's difficult to find anyone who would ever dare to approach a hill churro, let alone try to talk to them. If someone could test out my theories on my behalf, that would be great. I suppose I quiz. Encyclopedia Britannica here. I totally lost that guy I was chasing. That's higher. 24 meters higher. I said it was about 10 meters, but he's like, Please be quiet two floors above me. And refrain from making a racket. There. And I let him go up here. Oh no. I let him open that door.
It's the main floor on the ground. Main hall on the ground floor of the Knights of Columbus headquarters. I'm sorry, you can find a library in the Grandmaster's office. Any these questions feel free to ask any time. When these doors locked, auto rooms not open outsiders. Well, it doesn't involve some internal secret, the Knights of Pavonis or anything. That room is actually solitary confinement. To be honest, this room has more or less become please private property. Every time she's locked in there, you can hear some cracking noises like she's researching new explosives in there. I'm sure that she won't ignite any of her vials in there, but if she ever slips up, die just for me. I'm gonna knock it up there. Alright, we'll figure this out. Oh, these stairs. This place will do. Tell us what it's about already. How should I begin? Oh, right. Let me tell you a secret first. Tell me a secret. It's a secret of my past, and I confide in you to keep it. Don't worry. Paimon's lips are sealed. As a matter of fact, my grandfather was a pirate. Oh. Wait, why do you sound so blithe? Do you think I'm making it up? Look at my eye patch. I inherited it from my grandfather, and this is solid proof that we are related by blood. My, how could you not know such common knowledge? <laughs> this is no different from children inheriting their hairstyles from their parents. Yesterday, I was glancing through the notes my grandfather left and stumbled upon records that spoke of a treasure. Treasure? According to his notes, the treasure is buried in the lost Arcadian ruins. Treasure. But the location of the ruins is currently unknown. I've tried searching for clues. Treasure! Kaya, what kind of treasure is it? Gold? Or better yet, gems? <laughs> Treasures that consist of nothing but gold and gems are third-rate treasures. My grandfather's treasure is a sword. A magic rate. sword that grants the wielder unrivaled power. Oh, wow! The sword was dropped from Celestia into the sea by a god. It was later salvaged by my grandfather's crew by pure coincidence. The moment he gripped the sword, thunder roared. Billows howled, and the clear skies were suddenly swallowed by raging winds. With the might of the magic sword, my grandfather went on to defeat a hydra, a silver-haired banshee, a wicked abyss dragon. But the immense power of the sword enticed many more greedy pirates. To avoid meaningless conflicts, my grandfather hid the magic sword. Eight-haired hydras, silver-haired banshees, do they really exist? The world we live in is fascinating. Full of unknown and inexplicable wonders. Holy moly, that's just insane! A gang of treasure hoarders has been very active lately, and many ruins have had their relics stolen by them. I'm afraid that they will soon discover the Arcadian ruins, and the magic sword will be lost. We won't let it fall into the wrong hands! We must get the sword before them! You just rest assured that we are here to help! Wow. Great. Please keep it a secret. I'll wait for your good news. Hey, so what you think? Isn't it exciting? We're talking about a super duper powerful sword! Is it true? Well, let's go to the Adventurer's Guild and payment? see if we can find out more! The adventurers should know more about the ruins, right? Yeah. Hey right, guys. That was pretty fun. <clears throat> I'm gonna be streaming this again. 
I need to go and eat and rest. And I'll be back again. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. This is fun. I needed a good stream like this. Um, Thanks for the opportunity, Genshin Impact, and for the sponsorship. Uh, I'm going to try to hit my goals, and I'll be back. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Drink a bitch. Mm -hmm.